sold about five of them back in BP over to uh, the Somalians because hey out here to the Somalians bro you can sell them for any price they they don't care they will buy it they have the money and they will spend it I don't know the actual $40 because they were uh, 3D printed ones with different materials motherfucker yeah, cause motherfucker Gates came up to me right after work and he was like, yo, I got the schematics. Somebody emailed me and sold me for $120. He bought the schematics for, like, pretty much this is the shit that you just put into the 3D printer and it prints out a design. Like, type shit. And he got the schematics for the Switch. So I was like, bet, bro. Print some of that shit out. Yeah. Hey. I told him. I, I wanted him to. I was like, yo, this shit is a 3D printed Switch, so this shit might break on you soon. And they was like, all right. Yeah. But I had to stop selling the switches out there. Cause the fucking, some kid I know got shot with a switch. It wasn't the one. It wasn't somebody I sold the switch to. And I know it wasn't my switch because they sold a picture on TV on the news with the gun. Because that was when they were just figuring out about switches and shit. And they were trying to tell the people in the public and BP that well, look out for these guns if you see this. Call any type shit. So. It it was it the picture of the dude that that shot the kid with it on the block. It was a, it was a proper actual metal one. It wasn't the one that me and my friend met 3D printed. So I was like, all right. But oh yeah, people over here got gold gold ones, blue ones. I've seen people with orange ones. Oh yes, those are the authentic ones. Hey. I, I like I don't like the switches for one reason I would never use them because I I count my shots I count my shots I prefer to have a controlled shot you know binary trigger uh shit I w my friend told me I was wrong about how I thought a binary trigger was so I don't really know anymore what what yeah. We're securing the flag. Oh, it's so like, oh, okay. that's what I've been hearing around here. All right, I thought that was just bump fires. I thought people Secure was putting the bump area. fire on their shit. Oh shit! So it's kind of like, so it basically works like the, like the with the paintball guns. How they got the two the dual trigger things with the two things. That's what's up. I might need to give me one of those. Oh, really? Shit, I ain't worried about no fake case, but I'm already fighting a fucking misdemeanor terrorism. We lost that round. Hey, but Ready I'm smooth with it. So Hey, I can legally tell you about this. I ain't worried about no snitching or nothing because, or no recording or anything because I'm already in court for this shit. And they ain't got the evidence to get this right. I'm up in my group home. They can, but everything I'm about to tell you, I've already, the judge already knows. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I got my uh, trial this month though. So, hey, so get it right. I'm up in my group home, up in BP, right. And these two meth dealers or whatever. This well, one dude who lives here is named Ricky and shit. His brother Ronnie and shit. He he passed away. I ain't gonna tell why, but let's just say the legal reason is car accident on his bike. Sad, not really. But dude had to come in. He shut the fuck with me. But get this right. His brother Ronnie, the one who sell the meth and shit. I ain't got a problem with that, but I don't fuck with like meth heads like that anymore. Since I don't do it anymore, I know how to freak it and shit. Oh fuck, let me clutch this shit real quick. I'm 22. Oh no, wait, no, I'm not 22. I'm 23. I just turned 23 last month. But, but, so listen. Dudes, Ronnie comes into my room, right? While I'm gone. I'm gonna tell you why. Dude comes into my room, Ronnie, the dealer, right? Ricky's brother, my roommate. He goes in my room and takes my black bug out bag, my military black backpack, with a. 1911, block 19 in it, a zip of weed, and a whole bunch of medical supplies for bullet wounds and shit for patching up when I'm on the block and people get hit so I can like patch, patch them up because people are going to die some shit. So, he take that, I confronted him. I said, hey yo, that was my backpack that y'all took out my room and I caught y'all on camera and shit. 
And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll talk to my brother about it. So I'm like, all right, I'm not tripping about it. Just make sure you get it back. Because I know your brother be on fuck shit. Because he be tweaking off that stuff. So it ain't really gonna fall. He, two, two, three weeks pass, right? I still ain't get my shit back. But he's his brother Ryan is steady coming over to the crib to smoke with him and sell him t-shirts of G and shit. And smoke with him and hang. That's it's fine. I don't got a problem with that, but the problem I had is he didn't bring my shit back because I know he's steady coming from work to his house to to get the to get the shit. Yeah, right. And they trying to tell me that oh 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 I don't got it on me right now. I'm like, what do you mean, bro? Put it in your cart and when you go home today, so the next time you come over here tomorrow, you get that shit back to me. And they're like, okay, okay. That is the seventh time they over at my crib at my group home without my shit not to leak. So I immediately was on the Xbox downstairs, and I hear Ronnie's voice. I start tripping, tripping. I went in my room, shut the whole game off. I tell all the boys, I'm like, yo, I'm off for the night. I ain't going to be on for a couple of weeks or a month, maybe. They're trying to ask me why. I'm like, don't don't ask questions, but I, I'm just going to be gone. So I go, turn everything off. I go in my room. I suit up, get my whole gear on, everything on, vest, plates, everything, mask, gloves. I go out to my window. Cause in my room, I got the electrical breaker box for the entire house electricity. I got that room for a reason. For shit like this. So I cut the whole electrical electricity out from the house. All the cameras no longer function except for the ones on the outside, front, and the side of the house. So with that being said, I run out the window, but the camera can't see, come around the block, so it looks like I'm some random person masked up coming to do a kick door. No relations, right? The enemy Fuck. Oh, he was still alive? Fuck that dude. Figure this. I come in. Brody, one of my friends is smoking a cig out on the porch. I got my my rifle around the corner of the garage. And I, I'm telling him, like, hey, bro, if you don't want to be a part of no fuck shit, stay the fuck out here and smoke your cigs. I throw him a pack of cigarettes. I'm like, smoke these. You don't got to go in and roll another one. Just stay the fuck out the house. So I go in. I tell Ronnie. Yo, Ronnie. Let me talk to you, bro. Let me holler at you. Well, I want to talk about my shit that you got. And then immediately I hear Ricky go, Oh, don't let him come in here starting bullshit. So I'm like, fuck. Fuck you say, bro. I run back outside. I grab my blick, put my mask up. And the cameras can't see me. The, the camera's in the front. I'm on the side of the house by the backyard. And I come in with a gun. I rack that shit back. It's a six-hour P3. No, no. I got a six-hour P365 compact in my back waistband. And then I pull up a six-hour semi-automatic 9mm with a fiber optic red dot scope and a foregrip. In you know, a little generic foregrip, custom back stock, and a suppressor on the end of it. Alright, so get this. I run in. Gunfight. Kick the door in. She tries to go to the right and get up and grab his knife, so I fucking pop one into the floorboard and by his feet. And they thought that was the end of it because my shit kind of jammed, so I kind of had to rack it back and unjamming his shit because one of the bullets were kind of fucked up in there when I was loading the mag. It's a 30 clip, by the way. And I go in, I'm yelling at him, I'm all this new wop, I'm yelling at him and shit. I ain't gonna say what, what happened, but I was threatening. He was gonna be like, oh, he ain't got no more bullets in that shit. That was it, that's all he had. He wasted his last shot, so I was like, boom, bet. Three shots into the fucking ceiling. And I ain't joking about none of this, bro. I know you might think I'm capping right now, but I ain't joking about none of this shit. This, this dude gonna piss his fucking pants. Toughest motherfucking biker dude supposed to be, right? Gonna piss his pants. Three shots to the I think he pissed his pants because he knew how quiet it was. Because it wasn't, not only was it suppressed with a suppressor, because you know how suppressors aren't really suppressed and quiet. But the only way to make him quiet, or the, uh. But what makes him quiet is the overpressure ground. That's what makes him quiet. That too. That's what really makes it extra quiet. So if you have those two in a combo, which is what I had, then then you chilling. There ain't nobody gonna hear your shit, you know. And I shoot that, and he heard that. They do. That's why they thought it was shit was fake. He thought he's like, oh, is that BB gun or a pellet gun? Shot three into the ceiling. I'm like, look up, bro. He look up and he sees three big ass holes in the ceiling. Now they know this shit real, bro. And he sees the shells coming out the side too. So I'm, of course. He saw the shells, but I got a baggie on the end of my Trouble shit catching one. the shells. I, the I ain't playing that shit. I'm smart with my shit. It ain't my, ain't my first kick door, bro. So I go, I rush in. 
they they pissing themselves. Ooh, I, I'm yelling. We, we arguing back and forth about my shit. I'm like, all right, bro. You know what? I'm gonna let you slide today, but just know that I could really fucking do you. I could really fucking shoot the shit out of both of you right now. Y'all fucking playing with my stuff. I got money in there. I got about a zip and a half in there. Not to, oh, you got that. And on top of that, you took two of my guns. A custom 1911. Colt 1911. A custom one. That shit's over $4,000 for that bitch. I saved up three three months worth of checks for that bitch. And a Glock 19. I just bought that shit. And then I just bought a drum and a 30 clip for it. So I was extra tripping. Like, damn, coming home ready to go put that shit in. And go to the range and ch test it out. Just to see that the whole backpack gone. Now I can't smoke weed to calm down. And relax and think about it because the weed's in the fucking bag too. So now I'm hella pissed. I mean, you know, I got reasons to overreact like that. And plus, my history, PTSD and shit. I don't play. I ain't playing with nobody like that no more. I ain't about to be on no gentle night shit anymore. The round is lost. Focus on the next one. Because that shit don't work. That's why, they, that's why they kept not coming over because I kept coming up being nice like, hey bro. Talking to them normal, be like, hey, yo, I just want my stuff back. Now they thinking I'm pussy, so they ain't gonna get my shit back. That's why you gotta go in and use force and shit. Show motherfuckers that you ain't, you ain't about to play by their rules. Hey, I, I use that time to plan A, B, C, and D. No, but get this, do that. It's on camera in the group home. They they gonna call the police on you because they Somali motherfuckers. They gonna immediately call the police on you because they they don't like that shit. They get scared. But I ain't trying to go to jail for that shit because that's that's already a rap. That's a rap for me. That's assault, you know. And with me with the martial arts and shit, I'm gonna probably end up punching his temple. That's gonna be a s attempted murder right there. Cause you punch someone in the temple, you hit that soft spot, you can fucking kill him instantly. And me, if I start punching somebody, I'm going to stand over him until, until all I see is red everywhere. That's why I don't fight no more. I just use a pistol, bro. There's people using guns, fuck it. Hey, but sometimes I'm going to have to scope it out, though. If I see a person going to pull a knife, fuck it, we can go knife play. But if I see someone who's, who's like my body type, my weight type, and they pull fists, and they don't look like they know much, I, I don't mind using martial arts and kicking some ass. But if, if they look like they got a gun, best believe I'm finna up this shit first. If I think you got a gun, I ain't even finna confirm it. Popping that shit. Fuck all that. Fucking kids out here dying and shit. I got too much on my plate to be worrying about getting shot on this motherfucking place. I got too many guns. Every month I buy a new one, bro. Flea Farm fucking love me. Shit. Got your ass, boy. Moving here. There he is. Oh fuck! I put the grenade too much. Oh, I almost blew myself up. Thank God for the little way. Get ready for the next one. Oh what? Did he blow himself up? Yeah, I saw that kill. What the? That made no sense. The game tweaking. You should have had that kill cam. You up here on me? Got him. Yeah, boy. Hey, they ain't ready for that Mission tactic. Complete. Good work. That's it. Blue dude up. I heard him right there on the left right when I came to the door. But yeah, so after that all happened, I dipped out the crib, shot up his car, emptied out half the clip, threw that stick in the fucking went to jail willingly, cause I knew I was only gonna be there for a little bit. They ain't got the proper evidence and stuff. 
And even if they are recording my voice and they play this back, they ain't gonna know it's me because I don't make profiles with any accurate information or data for it. Like, no emails for this stuff. It's all fake emails, fake accounts and shit. And my, my, and my vocal patterns.